Question 5. A student measures the current and the potential difference of a resistor in a circuit. Okay, so we have the value of I and we have the value of V, potential difference. Measurements are used to calculate the resistance of the resistor. Okay, what is the percentage uncertainty in the calculated resistance? So hopefully people here, everyone knows that to find resistor, or you want to define resistance is the ratio of V over I, potential difference over current. So I don't really need to find what the value of R is because the question is asking me for percentage uncertainty. Okay. So what I'm looking for when it comes to percentage uncertainty is del R over R. So then I look at this equation, right? And I ask myself, well, if I want to find the uncertainty of R, I will take the uncertainty, the percentage uncertainty of potential difference plus the percentage uncertainty of current. It's a bit like, why do you have an uncertainty for resistance? Well, it was because when I measure potential difference, I have a certain percentage uncertainty. And then when I measure the current, I have a certain percentage uncertainty. And I use both values to calculate resistance. That's why when you want to find the percentage uncertainty, you have to add them up. Always add. Okay. So for this one, I'll just take 0 0.1 divided by 500 plus... 0 0.01 divided by 50. Okay, these are really good measurements because they are digital measurements. And uh, if I press my calculator, this one I will get 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4. But all the answers are in percentage, so you should multiply by 100%. Okay, so multiply by 100%. And this will give you 0.04%. So the answer is D. Okay. So a note here. You should know how to convert from here to here using identities or percentage uncertainty. Okay. If let's say, I'll give you another example from the same question. Okay. If let's say they ask you to find power or the percentage uncertainty of power, what will change in your equation? So let's say extension, I write here, extension. What is the percentage uncertainty of power dissipated? Yes, I modify the question, right? Power dissipated in the resistor. So you could obviously just use P is equal to VI. Okay, but let's say for discussion's sake, I decided to use I square R. Okay, so then to find the percentage uncertainty in P over P, I will take the percentage uncertainty in I over I, but I use I two times in my I square. So I will multiply this one by two. Okay, means you got percentage uncertainty reason, eh? This one, this is 0.04%. Okay, or... Where did I multiply? Sorry, plus 0 0.04. Or I guess I'll plus the 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Then everything I multiply 100%. Okay? So this one would be 2 over 0 0.01 over 50 plus 4 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So 0 0.02 divided by 50. Oh. So this is 8 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Then I'm going to multiply this by... hundred percent. So this will be 0.08%. Okay? So let's say I measure current and then I take R. You may be thinking of using other equation, which is... Possible as well. Just let me double check my calculation a bit. 0 0.02 divided by 50 plus 4 times 10. Okay, so you get 0 0.08%. 
So I'm bringing out this example so that you understand if there is a power in the equation, whether it's power 2 or power half or power 3 over 4, you will bring it down as an index because you use it two times. So the index is brought down and then you multiply. Because this derivation actually have roots in calculus. Lah. But if not, you just think about it as I'm using a value of i that I measured twice. So times 2. Okay, so that's it for this question about percentage uncertainty and identities.